right, so I made the countertop that's gonna go in over the stove. And I just used the old piece to the bed that was the couch. So we wanna cover this. So we've taken the knobs off. And slide it forward. And there is your countertop. So this is from another countertop I tore apart. We're just gonna make it fit right in there. Getting it a nice gray, since our interior is gray. So next, we're gonna have to insulate this. We can't remove it because of all the wiring and the water connections. We'd really like to get rid of it, but, and then you've got this thing here. So from there, we're getting a lot of heat from the underneath. So we're gonna get sheets of insulation or something, and we're gonna pack it in here. And. Uh, create a barrier between the heat and the inside. Because you can stand on the outside here and you can feel the heat seeping through these doors. when I get up from the bed. Normally would hit my head right here, so we added some corner pieces. This is really thick uh, foam padding that you would add to like your kitchen table for your kids. We're gonna get a cover here for this window too because it lets in a lot of light and a lot of heat. At night, if you're parked in an area that has lights, that shines right through, so we're gonna cover that up. Something you can take out and put back in, so few minor things and this place will be perfect. All right, paint's dry. Let's go install our new countertop over the stove. We decided to leave that open like that because it'll hold things in place as we're traveling behind this new countertop. And that ain't going anywhere. Got it all opened up. A lot of heat coming from here. Pull the mattress up. A lot of heat coming from in here. You could feel it. So we're gonna have to insulate this lid that goes on here probably. Definitely insulate this with some sheet insulation and then we're going to insulate all of this cabinet is insulated i use duct tape to keep it in place that way if we have to take anything out we got a water leak or anything you can just cut it with an exacto and get in there but it's sealed up really good got two layers in the back probably store like paper towels, toilet paper in there. But that, you can feel that there is way less heat. And there's hardly any heat coming out of there. And then we're going to adhesive the sheets of insulation onto these, the caps, and that should cut down on even more heat. Okay, all done insulating. We insulated here, we insulated the lids underneath the bed. This gave us some more insulation from the back side and it made us a nice little tight compartment so stuff won't go sliding around. We don't put very much in here anyway but it's already made a difference in the cabin inside. It's very cold. Cold. Very very cold. I even had it on low cool yesterday. We can start packing now. Off we go. Here we go to Florida for a month in our little master bedroom on wheels. <laughs> 